Hello beautiful souls! In today's reading we are going to find out is this love what true feelings they have for you? This is a pick a card reading and to help you choose we have three cards. Card for pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. Take a deep breath connect to your intuition, feel which pile has a message for you. The timestamps are in the description box and I will see you during your reading. Hello pile number one, this is your reading. We're going to start with the energy of the card that uh, took your interest, that made you come to this pile. Uh, those cards are very poetic, uh, very symbolic, so I've decided to read something from the book for you because there will be a unique message for you in there. So let's start with that and then we will see more details. What are their feelings towards you? Okay, this card is a card of freedom and it says Love has many faces, many aspects, thousands of emotions, feelings and streams, joys and blessings, freedom and being stuck, victories and losses, doubts and faith. We go up and down to get to what we're looking for, to understand and experience in order to learn how to love truly and freely. Wow. So those words are for you to meditate upon. And now let's see more cards for you. Pile number one, I have pre-shuffled some cards for you. And later on, we will shuffle some more on camera. And it is worth staying till the end of this reading because I also have a new pendulum and we will use it so you can ask any question that you want to get answered to. Okay, let's get to your cards. Let's start with the first one. So, heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So, you will not know what their feelings are until you ask in this relationship situation ship whatever it is for you there is a need for honest conversation straight from the heart uh, because otherwise you will just be wondering and your second card healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay so um, it might be that this situation cannot come into fruition yet this relationship because both you and that person have some family issues to heal adjust it to your situation but this is stopping you guys from being together because I feel there are feelings there but they are a bit shaky okay so this person is not quite sure and this person is distracted by the family issues and until they heal it uh, there is no room for anything else children your love life is being affected by children okay so for many of you this person already have been in a serious relationship or marriage they might be divorced or in the process of uh, being divorced and your love life due to that is affected by children they might have children it can also be about a pet because we have dogs here but for many of you it's children if uh, this story about children does not resonate, uh, it's about healing the inner child. Healing their inner child and your inner child. Adjust it to your situation. This is a collective reading. But someone needs to heal their inner child. Okay? And this is through healing the family issues. So see, this is very important uh, to 
clear out and to heal because this takes a lot of space between you. So nothing can really start because of those. If you need help and assistance on how to care for and heal your inner child, I invite you to meditate with me. A meditation that will help you with that will be linked in the description box for you. Okay, let's see more cards for you. Pile number one, regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Okay, so this person uh, regrets something, probably being with this other person that they have split up. Uh, if not, they regret something they did towards you. Maybe they were dishonest. Maybe they didn't tell you everything. And now they regret it. Indecision, see? Uh, this person cannot decide what to do about this situation. They are torn. They are somewhere in between. They are kind of afraid that they will repeat the cycle if they get into a new relationship. They don't know what to do. Um, they are uncertain of uh, their next step. Abundance. Okay, so this is like a spark of hope for you guys because um, yeah, I'm feeling that it will all end well between you when you have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation and there are like there is abundance of way how you can solve this situation. Okay, so for right now, nothing is clear. They clearly have a lot of feelings towards you, but um, will you be together? It's not clear. If you want to know if you'd be together, I have a reading like that on my channel. So I will link it in the description box for you if you'd like to check it out. Okay, pile number one, let's have some more cards to clarify the situation. Pile number one, we have some more details for you. So this person is really not showing their true feelings. They are kind of hiding. Um, they also have a tendency to run, okay, from uh, from something that scares them, uh, from a relationship, they might be fearing intimacy. That's probably why their previous relationship um, didn't work out. They also uh, self-sabotage a lot. That's why they need to work on themselves. And the self-sabotage is coming from mm, not healing their family issues and their inner child okay so unless they do that uh, nothing more can happen here because they will repeat this cycle uh, so the universe says there are many options uh, for uh, this relationship to unfold it's not clear but one of the option is also a union wedding getting married this card is like a double here because it signifies that this person has already been married or in a relationship, but it also says that you can form a relationship. So it's really up to you and this person. Will you heal those family issues? Will you heal your inner child? If yes, there is a possibility that this abundance of feelings that you guys have towards each other can lead to wedding but it is not that sure yet okay let's get the pendulum and get you an answer for a question uh, that you have in mind think about your question feel it in your heart and we will get the answer shortly Thank you. 
Okay, so your answer is yes. This is great. Pile number one. If this reading resonates with you, please like the video, comment it, share it. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to have a chance of winning a free private reading with me, subscribe to my channel and read the description of this video. If you'd like to purchase a reading with me, email me. The email is also in the description. Thank you. I'm sending you lots of love, light and everything good. Hello, pile number two. This is the card that caught your attention and made you come to this reading. So first, we will dive into its energy. This deck is very poetic and symbolic, so I have decided to read something from the book for you because there will be a hidden message for you there. And then we will see uh, more cards for you and your situation. When you forgive old hurts, you can go on a new path to love. And then you will understand that no one has power over you and no one can take your power. No one can be above you and challenge you because you are the power. Okay. Beautiful words, and let's see your cards. Pile number two, these are the cards that I have pre-shuffled for you. And later on, we will clarify with the Love Oracle. And then at the end of this reading, we will use my new pendulum to get you an answer to any question you want. So it's worth sticking till the end. Okay, let's start with your first card. Playfulness. So this person is feeling a lot of playful, youthful feelings towards you, uh, flirtatious feelings. These are not like deep feelings, deep love. Maybe it's something very, very new for you. Uh, this is all light, all flirty, flingy. Okay, so let's see more cards to have some more details. Pay attention to red flags. Okay, so this person has feelings for you, but it's not very serious for them. And they will be presenting a series of red flags towards you. So it's better for you, your power and your freedom, right? To really pay attention to them. Because when you see them, maybe if this could be something deeper, maybe you both can work on it. You can communicate the need to work on something and maybe it can happen uh, better. I want to see this card. Forgiving and learning, yeah. So I'm not uh, seeing that this person is really deep in love with you. Unfortunately, they might hurt you. There is another possibility that they have been hurt uh, many times before and now they just want something light. They just want a fling. They don't want anything serious. Okay, let's see. Doubt. Yeah. So this person is doubting um, any relationships, really, I'm seeing now. They are not ready for anything serious. Uh, they have a big fondness for you, but um, they're doubting if you want the same thing or not. Okay, let's see more death okay so they are in a state of doubt but they see that mm, this situation is not what they really want see pay attention to the red flags this card is red so really if you want something more uh, than just playful flirting and hookups and uh, dates but nothing deep then okay but if not 
then it's better to end this situation and I'm saying that this person will end this situation when they see that you go too deep. Let me see this card. Growth. Okay. So this situation will bring both of you growth. This is what I'm seeing. You will learn and forgive something. You will learn how to pay attention to red flags better and use that knowledge in the future. And this person will start doubting their approach towards love because of you, okay? This situation might end for many of you, but it will leave you, both, of, both you and them uh, wiser. They will start doubting their approach towards love and they will grow in some way. And this growth is also for you, as I have mentioned, right? Uh, so this is a, like a, an important life lesson in romantic life for both of you. Okay, pile number two, let's have some more cards to clarify this. Okay, pile number two. So this is probably someone new in your life. Like I said, there is insane chemistry, okay? There is passion between you. You are having fun. The talks are great. But this person is a bit self-absorbed. It can be a narcissist. Um, so as I said, they are not really into something deep. They are dealing with a hurt. They don't want to go any deeper because they are still angry about something. So they rather not engage in anything serious because they just don't have the emotional capacity right now. Okay, and now let's see the answer for your question. I'm going to get my pendulum. Think about your question. Feel it in your heart, and soon we will get the answer. So your answer is maybe. Pile number two. If this resonates with you, please like the video, comment it, share it. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to have a chance of winning a free private reading with me, subscribe to my channel and read the description of this video. If you'd like to purchase a reading, email me. The email is also in the description. Thank you. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and everything good. Hello, pile number three. This is your reading. We're going to start with the card that caught your attention. Um, this deck is very poetic, very intuitive, symbolic. So I want to read something from the book for you because I feel there will be a hidden message for you there. Okay. You are observing and letting things flow. You don't stop. You don't go further. You don't fight it. Your wisdom is great because you trust that whatever is happening is the part of divine plan. Everything makes sense that we are sometimes unable to see at first. Wow, very deep. Okay, let's see more cards for you. I have pre-shuffled some cards for you already. Later on, we will clarify uh, with more cards. Uh, and then at the end of the reading, we will use my new pendulum to get you the answer for any question that you have. So it's worth sticking till the end. Okay, let's start with your first card. 
romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So in this romantic situation, in this relationship, whatever it is for you, both you and that person are having romantic feelings, everything. I, I'm seeing like a pink glow over you guys, okay? So this is a beautiful romantic situation. And your next card, whoops. wow, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this speaks for itself, right? <laughs> See, those people are really close to each other, huh? So there is a lot of chemistry and passion too, but this is way, way deeper, okay? This is a soulmate situation. Uh, I want to see this card. Wow, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this person really has feelings for you, strong feelings. They feel like you're their soulmate. And in the future, they want to... Uh, level up your relationship whether it will be an actual engagement or it can also be like hey I want to be with you or hey let's move in together adjust it to your situation because this is a collective reading but really this is looking very very good okay adversity I accept that challenges are the best way to learn okay so your love is strong and this is your soulmate but there are some outside circumstances uh, that are challenging you, right? Let's go back to this card. There was something about not reacting to whatever is happening, okay? So um, this is what the universe says. Whatever it is in your way, it might be a long distance relationship. It might be that your family or his family or hers family do not accept you or your family doesn't accept them adjusted to your situation uh, maybe there are some financial uh, adversities uh, there are some challenges on your way but do not worry this relationship will happen okay let's see yes it will trust i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly so you and this person you know how to overcome these adversities just be calm and observe and trust in the universe trust in the love and feelings that are connecting you to okay acceptance okay so this is the key uh, to all of this to overcoming the adversities accept the situation that you are in that your loved one is far away or that you cannot be together for now because i'm seeing you will be okay but right now uh, there are some obstacles and adversities but the universe says be calm observe trust accept the situation you are in because the sooner you accept it the the sooner you will get an intuitive hint on how to overcome those obstacles and you will overcome it together this is what i'm hearing okay and now let's take the pendulum and ask the question whatever the question is for you you will get an answer think about your question feel it in your heart and we will have the answer shortly <laughs> So your answer is maybe pile number three. If this resonates with you, please like the video, comment it, share it. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to have a chance of winning a free private reading with me, subscribe to my channel and read the description of this video. If you'd like to purchase a reading, email me. The email is also in the description. Pile number three. If you want to know what is the message from your person to you see the reading that is on the screen and if you'd like to know will you be together 
There is a reading that can tell you that. It's also on the screen. Thank you. I'm sending you lots of love, light and everything good.